Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Bullet Motorsports. Right next to me, we have a 2014 Jeep Rubicon Unlimited. This is not your ordinary Jeep. It has 480 horsepower via turbocharger system and about 100 grand in upgrades. Be sure to like and subscribe so we can give you more content like this. Let's start with the front fascia of this 2014 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon Unlimited. This is a $48,000 original window sticker vehicle. And then the prior owner, which is a one owner vehicle, spent around $60,000 on top of that. Uh, you've got a Fab Four front fascia. You've got your Putco Lumix lights. Those are extremely bright and those are DOT approved. You have a worn winch as well. So that's a 10,000 pound winch, has a synthetic rope and then a Factor 55 Pro Link. So this is nice for if you wanna be able to move it around. Uh, and it also is extremely strong and looks great. You've got rigid lights throughout the whole entire truck. So you've got uh, two pods up here. These were custom made for this truck, so you can't buy this actual pod set up. Along with uh, this side right here, you've got your worn hooks. And then when we look at the suspension, you've got eight inches of lift via some Dirt Logic coilovers up front, and that's got a reservoir shock. You have a Fox stabilizer, and that everything has been powder coated to match the wheels and all the suspension. You have 513 gears front and rear, and those are locked. Um, as we go to the side, you've got a set of fuel wheels on 38 and a half or 38 inch tires. These are two piece wheels that have been taken apart, sent to the powder coater and put back together. Everything matches in regards to the color. So you can see that the springs on these giant coilovers match properly. And what's cool is when we put this thing in the air, the amount of travel that you get, it's unbelievable. Everything has been accented with uh, underside lights. So there's lights inside of these uh, gills right here. Also the front fascia. I'm missing that there is a actual custom hood on the front here and the paint. This is not factory paint. This is flat white. Originally it was uh, like a gloss white, but now it's flat white and it looks unbelievable. When they did the paint job, it's not like they taped all this off. Every single thing was blown off of the truck and put back together. And then they added the, the new decals and all of the accessories and hardware. Uh, you're going to have two tops that are going to come with this truck. So you have a hard top, then you have the soft top that also turns into a convertible top. This is the best top you can get for the Jeep. You also have uh, accents throughout your handles, which look great. And then you've got your rock slide engineering steps. These are the coolest steps because nice and smooth. You open the door, they drop right down. And then there's a sensor here. So when you close it, I believe it's like eight seconds, they're going to go right back up into their position. And that's great because you can still have all the articulation. You can go off road and this is a great slider. So if you're going off road, you're not going to damage anything because it's going to slide across the rocks. Full point. If you look at the rear, you've got your Fab Four uh, rear bumper. And then when you look at this, the chassis, there's so much stuff on this truck. It's really difficult to go over it all. The chassis has been painted in satin black. And then I want you to look at the rear axle as well. So when they rebuilt the axle to add those 513 gears, they blew it all apart and they painted it in gloss black. Take a look under here. You'll see a set of Fox shocks in the rear with uh, 2.0 reservoirs. And then uh, there's your coils. And look at that. I mean, you're never gonna see a Jeep that has a gloss black differential. The exhaust sounds great. It's a Flowmaster exhaust. Still has a resonator from Dodge. Then you get your Fab Four rear bumper. Uh, the Fab Four rear bumper has been fitted better. So when you get them, they usually have more gaps. This was filled in properly and then it was sent out to powder coat and every single wrinkle finish matches on this truck. You've got a backup camera, which I'll show you. This thing has a ridiculous electronic setup inside. Rigid lights back here too. And then take a look at these. These are custom as well. LED throughout the whole truck. And the handles match your hinges. Let's go to the passenger side. There's no dents in this truck. It only has 26,000 miles on it. And what I like about this truck is they match the suspension to the rear of these Fab Four components. And then if you look at everything, it's all stainless, which looks nice. You can see that gloss black frame. And then once again, you've got your steps. There's some blue accents in here as well. I don't want to show the interior yet till we get to that point. Um, antenna has been modified. It's got the bullet antenna, pretty sweet. And uh, you've got accent lights throughout, even underneath it. So when you're driving on the road, you click a button on your head unit, not a toggle, not a switch, and it lights everything up underneath. It looks like lava, blue lava underneath there. 
Let's go ahead and open up the hood because I got a surprise for you. What we've got underneath here is a Prodigy Turbo Kit. This has been upgraded, so it's a Stage 2 kit with an intercooler. Also, put a $1,000 ball bearing turbo in there that's an upgraded turbo. This put down 480 horsepower. That's pretty impressive for a Jeep. I mean, we sell muscle cars and Humvees. This would probably give it a pretty good run for the money if you're running around the mall. If you look at the engine bay, it's extremely clean. You don't have wiring everywhere. That's one of my biggest pet peeves on any type of build. The hood looks great. You can see that the vents are actually functional for more airflow in there. And then you can, uh, why don't you go take a look at the turbo. See the wiring? That's the only wiring you're gonna see in the whole truck, which is amazing for the amount of electronics in here. I won't use the word amazing anymore, I promise. All right, let's go inside and I wanna go over the electronic system in here. It's got a custom stereo, all JL components, and then you have an Alpine touchscreen that has been modified. They make a kit that will work with all the lights and essentially you can use your, your stereo system as a touchscreen. You can turn it on, you can turn on all the rigid lights. These are the best lights you can buy. Let's go inside. All right. As we get inside the vehicle, I want you to notice the uh, cat skin seats covers. So they wanted to do the red, white, and blue theme in here, and I think it works very, very well. You've got diamond stitching throughout, diamond stitching on your center console and in the rear. Every single component inside of the vehicle is LED. And then when I start up the truck, you can sort of tell that there's a turbo. You can hear it like a wind up. Jump on in and we'll go for a ride. First thing I notice when I sit down is this extremely clean steering wheel that just gives you the inclination or the thought process that hey this guy didn't go off road he wasn't gripping it and these these this is soft leather so he wasn't gripping it and going off road and twisting the wheel everywhere then you're gonna see 26,000 miles you're gonna see that we're almost out of gas which when we sell it we always fill it up sometimes. And then we've got ourselves our, uh, our Alpine stereo with the Smart Connect. So what that does is I can flip this up and you're gonna have the control. I don't know if the camera's catching it good, but you've got external accessories. You click on that and you can control all the lights and your underside lights. So you click on it, turns the lights on, underside lights, and then you can hear the relays clicking. This also has an amazing stereo. So let's go back into the menu and Sirius is on. It's loud. Let's go ahead and put it in gear and take it for a ride. What we're gonna do is we're gonna drive down Ravenswood Road right now. You can hear that the, the locks will operate at around 20 miles per hour. You got a set of CMM grab handles. So these are great for passengers or for looks. Then you also have a ram mount that they build into it. So you can put a camera here to film all of your escapades. Uh, once we get past all this traffic, I'm gonna turn right and I'm gonna show you that this turbo system actually does perform. When I was outside earlier, I said 513 gears, but it actually does have 488s. When I looked at the paperwork, I don't want anybody to get confused with that, 488 gears front and rear. And then what's neat about the Rubicon is you can unlock your sway bar. Uh, there's a button here and then you can also lock your lockers. Right now we're going um, about 50 miles an hour, we're about to go over some bumps. And normally a Jeep that's eight, lifted eight inches, has a lot of play side to side. It's actually pretty manageable. I'm really impressed with the suspension. 
we're gonna turn right here and I'm gonna test her out. Okay, so if you've ever driven if you've ever driven a Jeep Wrangler, you know how slow they are. 480 horsepower and something like this with 488 gears is gonna be pretty impressive. So let's test it out. I'm just gonna roll into the throttle and let it do its job. Turbo. <laughs> Sounds like an airplane. <laughs> That's impressive. We got to 60 miles an hour. Um, there was no tire spin because I was also going very smoothly into the throttle, but it's sporty. That's a sporty truck right there. Back to our shop right now. I want you guys to make the decision on if this Jeep Wrangler is for you. Give us a call, 954-363-2261. Hear the turbo. That's cool. We're pulling back into our warehouse now. I forgot to mention a couple of performance things. On the brakes, we've got SSBC uh, big brake kit up front, and then that uses the same brake pad as a, I believe it's an 07 to 14 Corvette. So it's a big bite. Uh, the exhaust manifolds that come out of the turbo and, and back into the, uh, take, come off the manifold to the turbo have been coated with hot shot. So that's like a ceramic coating and that keeps the heat inside the pipes and that doesn't let it radiate out. Uh, that's better for power and for efficiency. Overall, this Jeep has been touched by the hands of God in regards to Jeeps. Give us a call, 954-363-2261.